Hi, David Helger, uh, farming, farmer from Yankton County. Sacred Heart Parish in Yankton is our church. And we're finishing up planting our corn crop. And we have a very special guest today that's running the planter right now. Well, Good. I don't know about how special. You think that's really true? I, you know, I, I've been trying here, but I tell you what, there is gonna definitely be some crooked rolls, but I'm having a blast. I'm on my idea of recollection, which I like to do, and then I just follow the Spirit. The Spirit led me today to just uh, hankering to get out and uh, get in the field, try planting a little bit, hang out with a good Catholic family so uh, that's close by, and talk about farming. So uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit first what you like about farming. I like the independence that we have. Uh, main reason I'm really trying to carry on is we started this in 1880 and trying to get it to 200 years with Peter, or whichever one of my kids wants to stick around. There we go, tell us a little bit about Peter. Peter, introduce yourself. Why don't you take the phone and uh, tell us about yourself and uh, if you, what you're thinking about farming. Hi, I'm Peter Hager, hopefully going to be the next generation of family farm and I'm hoping to take over in the future, but gotta make it through college first. That's right, that's right. Well, I was blessed to get to know this family when I did the confirmation. Uh, Peter was just confirmed this year, and so it was an extraordinary blessing for me to be able to just give those gifts of the Holy Spirit that God gives to me uh, so that they can all be healthy, happy, and holy, and uh, God willing to be uh, farming for a good long time. I wish that for both of you guys. Reminds me so much of the blessing of family farms, the importance of family farms, and remembering so much the gift of my own family was passed on from one generation to the next so we need to really work hard to preserve that in whatever way we can pray like heck for that encourage families uh, in their efforts to uh, provide the food for all of us and I'm having a blast out here I kind of think of myself as a, uh, a bishop who loves to be out uh, when the weather's nice and having uh, a good time so want to wish everybody a very very blessed rest of the planting season lots of grace and blessings from god hopefully a really fruitful year you guys have been in my heart it's been fun to see the fertilizer trucks going by and the tractors and the various equipment um, and the good news is we're using the right color equipment so now let me see if i can get it down here and drive at the same time you see the red yeah well there's a reason that red is i was told and taught so properly when i was growing up that you have red because you're proud of it and the green ones you try to hide in the field <laughs> because they break down so much. At least that's that's the lure that goes on. And you can see behind me the uh, the blue planter, which reminds me of what uh, planter my brothers had. And so we're blessed to be out here having a blast. Best wishes for an awesome year to all you farmers. God bless you. See ya.